Greetings and good health. I am Dr. Jerrica Sarko, a pediatric and family wellness chiropractor. This is your Lifeline to Vitality, where we discuss ways to cultivate family wellness. Good day and great health. Welcome back to another edition of your Lifeline to Vitality. Today on the podcast, How a head tilt affects brain chemistry. The brain is divided into two main sections called hemispheres. Each hemisphere is associated with a specific neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters are chemical substances that help nerve impulses travel throughout the system. They are involved in many neurological functions and regulating emotions. In the right hemisphere of the brain, serotonin is the primary regulating neurotransmitter. Serotonin is linked to feelings of appreciation, affirmation, and adoration for others. In the brain's left hemisphere, dopamine is the main regulating neurotransmitter. Dopamine associates with emotions of self-reward and motivation. The brain, like all other aspects of us, needs balance. Our body and brain by association can become imbalanced. A vertebral subluxation of the upper cervical spine can create brain and body imbalance. When the top bones of the neck misalign, the joints can lock out of place and create perpetual nerve tension. To compensate for the nerve pressure, the head will shift over and up off the spine's center of gravity. The body will then compensate for the head tilt by lowering a shoulder or raising a hip to level the eyes. The eyes might be level, but the head tilt still remains. This has structural and functional implications. A chronic head tilt creates overstimulation in the brain, usually in the same brain hemisphere as the head tilt. For example, if the head is tilted high on the right, the right hemisphere is overstimulated. Overstimulation creates stress. Prolonged stress leads to fatigue. Brain fatigue affects neurotransmitter chemistry, specifically dopamine and serotonin levels. For example, if the head is tilted high on the left, the brain is activating dopamine more. Over time, the dopamine tank can start to run empty, or the brain becomes desensitized to it. Either way, the brain can't get its fix of dopamine. You can start to feel unmotivated, depressed, anxious, and insecure more easily, which only triggers your brain and body to want to produce more dopamine, which it can't release enough of or has become desensitized to it, which makes you more unmotivated, depressed, anxious, and insecure. More serotonin is activated if the head is tilted high on the right. Over time, serotonin production gets fatigued and or the brain becomes less sensitive to it. Either way, brain serotonin levels become off-balanced. You can start to feel unrecognized, rejected, and unloved, which only triggers your brain and body to want to produce more serotonin, which it can't release enough of or has become desensitized to it, which makes you feel more unrecognized, rejected, and unloved. While chiropractic does not claim to treat emotional disturbances or mental issues at all, bringing more structural balance to the head and neck through an adjustment can help the brain function better. Correcting a chronic head tilt brought on by a vertebral subluxation allows better communication between the brain and body. When in proper balance, neurotransmitters can act in better harmony and regulate emotions more soundly. Thank you for listening. For even more information on how chiropractic can benefit you and your family, please check out my website, ohiospecific.com. That's O-H-I-O-S-P-E-C-I-F-I-C dot com. Until next time, remember to keep your head cool, feet warm, and your mind busy.